How's it going, everyone? So I've been watching a lot of other streamers and players play, and I've noticed that a lot of times some wrong decisions are being made, specifically on turn six, whether you should retreat or stay in based on the given situation of the game. I see some people retreating too much, and I see some people staying in too much, and I wanted to explain mathematically when to do each one. So for those of you who don't know, Marvel Snap has a lot of similarities to limit poker, specifically when it comes to betting in the game. You know, there's a limit on how much you can bet, uh, how many times you can bet. And so there's a few poker fundamentals that translate into Marvel Snap that mathematically are guaranteed to make you more cubes if you understand them and apply them correctly. But as usual, before we get started, if you love all things Marvel Snap and you love video games, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's talk about these fundamentals. So the two concepts that I want to talk about in this video are equity and pot odds. Now, equity is the percentage chance that you have to win a game in a specific situation. In this video, we're only going to be talking about turn six plays on whether you should continue with the game, whether your opponent snaps or not. Um, I don't think ever you should snap on turn six. I can go over that in a different video. I just think it's the wrong decision. So this is just whether you should continue in a game without snaps or continue when your opponent snaps on turn six. And so again, equity is the percentage chance that you have to win a game. For instance, if you're playing an opponent that is playing a discard deck and you know on turn six, they're going to be playing Hela in one of two locations. And in your hand, you have a Cosmo and you're revealing first. And so in order to win this game, you need to guess one of two locations where their Hela is going to come out. And if you guess correctly, you're going to win the game. So in this situation, you have a 50% chance of winning or 50% equity. The second thing we're going to talk about is pot odds. So pot odds are your reward to risk ratio. And from there we convert it into a percentage. And when it's in percentage form, what pot odds tells us is the percentage of time that we have to win in order to break even on any given bet. If the percentage chance that we have to win or our equity is higher than pot odds, then it is a profitable bet in the long run and we should continue with the game. If our equity is less than pot odds, we're going to lose money in the long run and we should just retreat out of that game. So there are two situations we're going to look at in this video. I'm going to give you two percentages that you can just memorize so you're not having to calculate pot odds every single game and you just have to worry about your equity and compare it to these values. So the first scenario we're going to look at is that nobody snaps on turn six. This could be any number of you snap before turn six, but on turn six, nobody snapped. The ratios are all going to be the same. You're either going to play for two, four, or eight cubes from your opponent, and you will have invested one, two, or four cubes already. And the second situation is that your opponent snaps last on turn six. So again, this could be nobody has snapped the entire game. Your opponent snaps on turn six. Maybe you snap beforehand, and then he snaps on turn six or you snap at the beginning of turn six, which again, I don't recommend, and he snaps after you. Again, the ratios are gonna be the same, so I'm gonna walk you through the calculations and give you a percentage at the end of it. So for the first scenario where nobody snaps on turn six, in the most basic form, when no one snaps throughout the whole game, by turn six, you have a decision to make. You have to put in one more cube to win the two that your opponent is putting in, plus the one that you have already invested. This makes your reward to risk ratio three to one, or to convert that into a percentage, it is risk over risk plus reward, or one over one plus three, one over four, or 25%, which means in the situation where no one snaps on turn six, you need to win 25% of the time to break even or more to be profitable. In situation two, when your opponent snaps last on turn six, say nobody has snapped, he snapped on turn six, you now have to play three cubes in order to win his four plus the one that you've already put in. This makes your reward to risk ratio five to three. Generally you express it in terms of number to one, but five to three works. Then when you convert that to a fraction, three over three plus five, three over eight, or 37.5%. So again, to break even on this decision, you have to win 37.5% of the time. And if you wanna be profitable, you have to win more than that. I'll put both of those numbers in the bottom of the screen so we don't forget in the example that we're going to look at. So the example we're going to use this time is, let's say your opponent is playing a discard deck as before. You know that they're going to play Hela on turn six and you have a Cosmo in hand. In this scenario, they can play Hela an equal amount of times on each of the three locations, which means you have a one in three chance of landing the Cosmo in the correct spot. Obviously we're talking about if you're revealing first in this situation. So your equity in this situation is 33%. Now let's look at the first scenario where nobody snaps on turn six. You have to put one cube in to win your opponent's two plus the one that you have already put in, which makes the ratio three to one or one over four or 25%. You have 33% equity 
33% equity is greater than 25%, which means if you run this bet over and over in the long run, you're going to make cubes. So in this situation, you're going to want to continue. I see a lot of people retreating when they have less than a 50% chance here, and that's incorrect play. You're making it harder on yourself and you're losing cubes in the long run. Now, if we take the same scenario with the same equity and we apply it to the second situation, where your opponent snaps on turn six. Now it costs us three cubes to win the opponent's four plus the one that we already put in, five to three, three over eight, 37.5%. Again, you can just remember the percentage. That 33% equity is less than the 37.5%, and this is not a profitable bet to continue with. You should retreat in this situation. Now the, the calculation of equity can get as complicated as you'd like it to get, where you can figure out odds if they have a specific card in their hand, what are the odds? Maybe they have multiple cards that beat you out of a few cards that they could have. Maybe you're playing Gambit and you want to kill two of the six cards that they have. So you want to calculate the percentage there. Or you're playing Jubilee and you have four cards in your deck and one of them wins. You can calculate your equity in all of these scenarios. Not every turn six you can apply this very effectively, but in a lot of situations you can. So if this is appealing to you and you want to dive deeper into it, I encourage you to go look up pot odds and equity and some other poker concepts. They really do apply to Marvel Snap and they really do help more than people think. So I hope you learned something. And as usual, if you love all things Marvel Snap and you love video games, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you in the next one.